Welcome to Photoshop. And today we're going to take a look at this absolutely horribly toned image inside of Adobe Photoshop. You're going to be able to download the raw and follow along with me or try to tone this yourself because I'll have a link down below if you want to get access to the file. I'm going to tell you what I think is wrong with this image and then we're going to open up the raw and we're going to go ahead and I will explain why I'm doing and what I'm doing. And we're going to go ahead and tone this image and make it look a whole lot better than it is right now. Actually, I don't know if there's anything in this image that is done well. This is pretty horrible as far as toning goes. It's too contrasty over here. They try to enhance the red, which I understand, but it's red in the face, it's pixelated, it's over sharpened. And then they tried to add blue over here and the blue doesn't look good. And then you can see where it was added, like a little halo around it. I mean, this is just horribly toned. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this thing up in raw and go ahead and tone it. So I'll tell you what I'm thinking about while I'm toning it so you can understand my reasoning for the suggestions or ideas that I make. So let's go ahead and open this up. So this is our original image that we've opened up in raw. We can see this was shot at ISO 100 and this is important, I'm looking, I didn't take the photo so I wanna see you know, what ISO this was shot at. This is shot at ISO 100, so it's gonna have a good grain structure and it's gonna be a pretty decent image quality. Now the lens is kind of a crappy lens, but it's, it's gonna at least let us to open this dark area up quite a bit without it falling apart. If this was at like 2000 or 4000, that would be a difference. So one of the issues that you have, and this is no fault of the photographer, is the light is coming in from this direction, right? So the model who has a lot of hair is basically in shadow. It is sort of an overcast day, so that's actually good. It's gonna help us, it's not gonna make this really dark, but it's making her face darker. Now, a couple of things that you could do is add a reflector to reflect light back in, or a flash, but if you wanna shoot natural light, there's nothing wrong with this image. It's perfectly fine the way it is. Now, what the person tried to do was enhance this and make this red even redder. So I'm gonna show you how to make the hair redder and open up the face, but not make it so it looks atrocious. Now, another thing that I see in this image, in the other image they had, they made this blue. I don't think I'm gonna make this blue. We're gonna make this red of her hair stand out and be the dominant part of the image. So if anything, I might suck some of the green out of this to make it more close to a neutral, though we're picking up sort of the same tonal values there. Notice this is green in the image they had before they made it almost the same color as her hair. I actually like the variance. So we're gonna pay attention to that stuff. And the first thing that we are going to do is come over here to a color profile. Now I'm gonna actually, I normally go down to Adobe Standard. It kind of flattens the image out, or I would use Portrait. But one of the things that's doing, it's sucking some of the color out of the image. I actually wanna keep the color in this image. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it the way it is. But we are going to decrease the contrast a little bit, and we are going to open up the shadows a bit. And that looks pretty good. As far as the white balance, I could click on auto. That's making it look horrible. I'm pretty good, it's a little bit magenta, and magenta is kind of a color you wanna stay away from in Photoshop, so we're gonna warm this up just a hair. So going this way, it's gonna make it more yellow. And I think we're pretty good as far as global adjustments. Then we're gonna come in here to this brush, and we wanna open this area up. We wanna brighten this area of her face before we start working on it in Photoshop. I accidentally clicked on something, we don't wanna do that. So to do that, we're gonna click on plus, and I actually wanna add some highlights. Well, and I'll just make my brush a little bit smaller so it doesn't bleed too far. Now, if you noticed in the other image, this shoulder got really bright. I wanna to try to stay away from getting that really bright. I want it to be 
um, in the image, but not the brightest part of the image. And if you brighten this up, this is going to be brighter than this. We don't want your eye going to her shoulder. We want it to go to the eyes of the face. So that's why we're doing this. Now notice I didn't go in here yet. We're going to do this again. So I'm going to hit new. I'm going to open up my shadows a little bit as well. And I'm going to open up my highlights again. And I'm going to go over this, but this time I'm actually going to go over this kind of little blanket or whatever she has wrapped around her. And this looks pretty good. So one of the things that happens is you open something up. It also increases the color. So the color in her face has got a little bit red. I can counteract that by just adding a little bit of cyan back there and maybe a little yellow here. And we're getting a better balance there. The next thing that we have over here is sort of this kind of greenish messed up color. I'm just going to leave that for now because I think I can do that inside of Photoshop and I think we'll be better off. The last adjustment I have, it's a little bit hot up here. I don't want to blow this out. So I'm going to knock this down just a bit. Want a whole five and we'll add a little highlights and we'll come in here. This brush. Now I'm just doing the whole thing because I can always open that up, but I just basically was interested mainly in this area up here. Then we're going to go ahead and open that up into Photoshop. All right, good. So let's take a look at the horribly toned thing that we have here. It is just atrocious. Even her eyes starting, it looks like it's got red eye in it. So I understand what they're doing, but there's a good way and a bad way to do something like this. All right, I think we're pretty good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, well, let's take a look at this rock. So we're going to make an adjustment layer. And I've been fooling around and I got rid of some palettes. Let's move this stuff around. This is always a good thing to know how to adjust and move stuff around to get it to work. All right, so we've got our curves adjustment layer. I don't think I've actually done anything to the curves adjustment layer yet. And we are going to open this area up. Now I'm not caring about this. I'm actually looking over here only. So I'm just trying to open that area up a little bit. Don't want to affect the highlights too much. And that looks pretty good. We could do some color adjustments. So let's take a look and see. If we make this a little bit more magenta, it looks pretty good. Remember, we can always dial this out or turn it back. So I'll click on layers so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to hit command I to invert this mask. And now this adjustment isn't being applied anywhere. I just want this to be applied over here. So I'm using the color white. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of paint and apply this to this area here. Now it's a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna dial that back. And that looks pretty good for now. We, we can come back in here and, and dilly dally and fiddle with this. What I wanted to go into right now is the face. So we're gonna come in here to her face. We're gonna really start to open that up a little bit. I don't want to add too much contrast now. You might think it looks good like that, but remember we can always add that in the end. I'm just trying to open up the face so we can start to see her eyes and her cheeks and it's not too dark. Now we're never going to get like really detailed eyes. Her eyes are just going to too much in shadow. We can't really go in and enhance them and make them pop. Plus she has dark eyes. It's not going to do too much to it. So I don't think it's something that you should worry about. Once again, I did command I to invert that. And then I'm just applying that to the area that I want. I'm actually going to go over this red hair here, but remember, I don't want to brighten that. So I'm going to hit X and then I'm going to go back over just that shoulder area to darken that one little spot. So we can keep that tone. Basically, I wanted to brighten the hair. 
but I did want to brighten the shoulder. It was just easier to go over it than just take that little part out versus try to just on here, which would be more difficult. It's starting to get a little bit red. That's okay. One of the things you can do is do a luminosity adjustment. So that luminosity adjustment is just going to affect the brightness values, not the color values. We're going to increase the color of this hair. We can. Um, it's easy to do, but we're going to do that later. We want to get everything else kind of where we want it. And then we'll come back to that spot. I just want to take a look at if I neutralize this kind of greenish color over here to see what this will look like. The way I'm going to do this is make a hue saturation adjustment layer and we're just going to dial some color out. I don't want to take the color all the way out, but I do want to reduce it so that's closer to the neutral that we see back here. Once again, I'm going to hit command I and then X to my white. And then we're just going to apply that to this area. So what that looks like here. So we will just apply that to this area here. And this is just desaturating or sucking some of that color out. I want this kind of subtle earth tone color here, but I don't really want it in this rock over here. This little area right here seems to be a little bit too bright for me. Now, is it really too bright in the image? Not really, but I want to lead use this line leading into her. And by darkening this, we're gonna enhance that. So I wanna take less attention to those areas. So I'm darkening them so we can focus your eye on something in the back, which would be here. Now let's work with the hair only. So we're going to increase that highlights a lot. The contrast a little. Pretty good. Then we're just going to go ahead. That was command I again. You'll see me do that. The reason that I don't paint black in there and I do the command I and paint white is just because it's quicker. If it was faster the other way, I wouldn't hit command I, I would just paint black. But for this thing, for this part, it's just easier to do that. Now, all I'm trying to do here is just kind of highlight this hair and make this stuff pop a little bit. Notice right here on that skin, it got brighter. So I hit the letter X to get black. I don't want to do that. We're just going to remove. All right, cool. So that's, that's getting brighter and that's looking better. Now I just kind of painted that in the hair. So we kind of have a hair mask there. So this would be a good time to come in here and brighten that hair. So if I come to my saturation and just hit my master saturation, we can just get that hair to pop, pop a little bit. Now, since I only want that on the hair, I need a mask. There's no sense duplicating a mask because we've already done that. That we can just push this mask up here. The way I do that is hold the alt option, click and drag. And that is going to just brighten that hair. So we're getting that brightness that obviously they were looking for, but that's just overdone and ridiculous looking. Here's that shoulder. You see how bright that shoulder is? That's the brightest part of the whole image. All right, so this is looking pretty good here. So what we're gonna do is work on the skin color a little bit. So I think we're gonna make a hue saturation adjustment. I'm going to zoom in and we're just going to see what happens if I make this a little bit more yellow. So what I'm doing, if you go into reds, I'm shifting my reds to make them more yellow. I'm going to hit command I, and then I'm just going in here and it's just going to make some of the red area, red magenta areas a little bit more yellow. And I think that looks just a little bit better on her. And we will zoom back out. All right, that's looking pretty good. Next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab this lasso tool and I'm gonna drag over my info palette just so you can see it. So right now we're gonna read, we're about 40%. Her highlight on her nose is about 26. Now she's a pretty fair skinned person. 
However, she's in shadow, so her skin tone values are going to be a little bit darker than normal. So normally I'd say she'd be in the 17 to 20% value if it was nicely lit, but it's not, so it's a little bit dark. We're going to come up here to the white, so we're at 15%. Um, we can definitely brighten this whole image up. So we're going to make a curves adjustment layer and come in here and I'll make that adjustment. I don't want to get this too bright or blow it out too much, but we want to actually increase the brightness values in this image a whole lot. And then we're going to also increase that contrast a little bit now and make this sort of looks pretty good. Come up here and we'll read this area. So we're at 8%. That's okay. So I'm going to delete this and get rid of it. Now, what I'm going to do is I brighten this area, but I just don't want this edge up here to be that bright. I don't want to totally take out what I did because I think you're going to see it. I'm going to do black, but when I grab this brush, we're just going to make the opacity about 50%. Make this bigger just so the transition's a little bit better. And then there we go. So we've just darkened this back down a little bit, just so it's just toned a little bit more evenly. This looks pretty good. I think the color in the face is off a little bit. So let's just kind of fill around with our color and get rid of a little bit of yellow, I think is sort of the issue. And that looks pretty good. We will zoom out. But once again, let's take a look at that original image that I don't know what they were doing. Even the crop is bad. It was better on the way they shot it originally. So this looks a whole lot better. This is an even image. It's a subtle image. Could I make the hair brighter? Obviously, I could make the hair brighter, but it's just going to look very unnatural as far as an image goes. The only thing I could do is kind of fill around. I could make her face, it's kind of a little bit on the warmish yellow side. I could neutralize that if I wanted. It really just depends if you want a warm, a neutral, or a cool type image. Now, I didn't go in here and retouch any frizzy hairs or uh, anything in her face. If I wanted to do that, that would be something else that we could do as well. So hopefully that's been helpful. Go ahead and give this image a try. It's actually pretty easy to tone. Make sure that this doesn't get too contrasty and this doesn't get too contrasty. And when you, as you bring this image out, um, it's even. So you don't get like a dark spot or a hot spot. Hopefully you'll be happy with what you do. So what we're going to do is I'm just gonna, on my other screen, I made a snapshot and I will show you the original image. And that is the original image with Adobe Camera Raw adjustments. So the original image was even darker than that. And then just kind of how we open that up inside a will be Photoshop. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.